And that doesn't mean waiting until next Tuesday. That doesn't mean waiting until November 3rd. Early voting is open right now through Friday. Let me hear you on the horn if you already voted. And now send a message to everybody who is yet to vote. Let me hear you to vote in Georgia this week. There you go. There's too much on the line to sit this out, y'all. We can't take another four years of Donald Trump. We deserve better than this. We need ethical leaders who put the interests of this nation and the interests of the American people over their self-interest. Who put our health ahead of corporate donors and the profits of insurance and drug companies. Who protect the privacy of women's health care. Who bring us together instead of turning us against each other. We are all Americans. We rise or we fall together. But Donald Trump and Senator David Perdue, they want us to forget that. And they want us to forget that they have failed us. They want us to forget that a disease they told us was no deadlier than the ordinary flu has killed nearly a quarter of a million of our fellow Americans. They want us to forget they're still trying to take away our health care in the middle of a pandemic. They want us to forget they've been too busy enriching themselves in office to look after us. This isn't about red versus blue and political party and political ideology. This is about whether we elect competent people with integrity or continue with more of the same. And we can't take more of the same. We can't take more of the same. I want to live in an America where our leaders are honest with us about threats to our health. I want to live in an America with true equal justice under the law for all, regardless of race, regardless of class. I want to live in an America where great health care is a simple, reassuring reality for every family. An America governed by leaders who put the economic interests of ordinary people and small businesses ahead of corporate lobbyists. But to get there, y'all, we've got to vote. Let me leave you with this thought, all right? 55 years ago, Congressman Lewis and Hosea Williams led a march across the Edmund Pettus Bridge in Selma, Alabama. And Congressman Lewis had his skull fractured, marching for the right to vote. 55 years ago. And there are still officials in this state who want to disenfranchise the people they're meant to serve, who want to stop black Americans from participating in our democracy. But what we've seen these last two weeks has been one of the most inspiring demonstrations of the will of the people to make change in the history of this state or the history of this country. We are ready to begin a new American era together. But it's going to take all of us. So Georgia, I need you to get everybody out to the polls. This has to be a movement style, bottom up, grassroots turnout effort, unlike anything we've ever seen in our history. So let me hear you one more time. Send a message to everybody who hasn't voted yet that it is time to vote. I appreciate you. Thank you so much. Thank you.